in the last class we have learned about trigonometric ratios six trigonometric ratios actually sin means opposite side by hypotenuse cos means adjacent side by hypotenuse tan means opposite side by adjacent the reciprocals of sin cos and tan are cosecant secant and cot and we have solved exercise 1 in both the boards means 11.1 for ap board students and 6.1 for cbse students now we are going to learn it's a very important topic that trigonometric ratios of some specific angles the specific angles are here 0 30 45 60 and 90 degrees see let us learn about first trigonometric ratio of 45 degrees here see my dear students to find the angle trigonometric ratio of 45 degrees let us take a right angled isosceles triangle here see right angled isosceles means one angle is 90 degrees and other two sides here except this hypotenuse are equal see this is small a and this is small a so according to pythagoras theorem ac square means it is equal to ab square plus bc square that is equal to a square plus a square that is 2a square so ac is equal to root 2 into a so this value is root 2a so in this right angle triangle my dear students ac is the hypotenuse if ab and B, bc are equal to small a units means ab and bc is equal to small a units means then the hypotenuse will be what root 2 times a root 2a okay my dear students now let us find the what is sin 45 what is cos 45 what is tan 45 and the reciprocals also cosecant 45 secant 45 and cot 45 see my dear students here in an isosceles triangle the angles are 45 90 and 45 okay now what is sin 45 degrees here what is sin 45 you can take this uh, acute angle as angle a or angle c both are 45 degrees so you can take either this or this no problem right now sin 45 means sin theta means opposite side by hypotenuse here the opposite side is a hypotenuse is root 2 so this root 2 a so a a one time cancel this is 1 by root 2 similarly cos 45 degrees means my dear students what is cos 45 adjacent side by hypotenuse that means bc by ac that is also a by root 2a this is also equal to 1 by root 2 coming to tan 45 degrees my dear students tan 45 degrees means what opposite side by adjacent side here the opposite side is small a adjacent side is is also small a so a by a is equal to 1 similarly to find cosecant cosecant 45 degrees secant 45 degrees and tan 45 degrees means these are simply the reciprocal of what sin cos and tan respectively so just make it reverse here that means root 2 by 1 that is root 2 it is also root 2 by 1 root 2 and tan 45 are and cot 45 both are equal to 1 only so by the students this is about 45 degrees trigonometric ratio of 45 degrees now coming to 30 degrees and 60 degrees trigonometric ratio of trigonometric ratio of 30 degrees and 60 degrees okay first we will take 30 degrees before to find this trigonometric ratio let us take a triangle here this triangle is what an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle means each angle is 60 degrees as you know all the sides are equal and each angle is 60 degrees is called an equilateral triangle so my dear students here just let us draw a what an altitude i have already explained about altitude in this previous chapter what is an altitude altitude means which is perpendicular to the base and also passing through the opposite vertex 
so my dear stud students just draw an altitude ad so which is perpendicular to the base and also passing through the opposite vertex see my dear students as i told you in the previous videos see an altitude of an equilateral triangle is also what the median of the triangle we proved also there how do you prove there we just we proved abd and acd the two triangles are congruent if two triangles are congruent means according to cpct this bd and dc are equal that means d is the midpoint of bc therefore ad is called the median also right students now my dear students here see each side is small a units here ab bc and ac these all are equal to small a units right so what about bd my dear student actually d is the midpoint so it is a by 2 and this is also a by 2 units okay now what about this ad ad is an altitude so ad square is equal to according to pythagoras theorem ab square minus bd square since pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem right See my dear students, a d square is equal to a b square is a square minus b d square is a by two whole square. That is equal to a square minus a square by four. That is four a square minus a square by four. That is equal to three a square by four. Three a square by four. So a d is equal to my dear students. Root three by two into a. So this is an altitude of this triangle. Altitude of this equilateral triangle is root three by two into a. A is a what? The length of the equal side of an equilateral triangle. Okay. See my dear students here now. This is sixty degrees. But what about this angle BAD here? Angle BAD. BAD is thirty degrees. Why it is thirty degrees here? See, see, this total angle is sixty degrees, but these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, angle BAD and angle CAD are equal. Why they are equal? According to CPCT, if two triangles are congruent, then the corresponding sides and corresponding angles are also equal according to CPCT. Therefore, these two angles are thirty, and this angle is also thirty. Okay, my dear students. So here in this triangle ABD, this AB is small a, and BD is a by two, and AD the length of the altitude AD is root three by two. Now we take only the triangle in triangle ABD, only the triangle ABD we take here, triangle ABD. Okay, right. Now it's very simple. Now we'll write sine thirty, and cos thirty, and tan thirty, and cosecant thirty, secant thirty, and cot thirty. Okay, my dear students. What is sine thirty? This is thirty. Actually, it is sixty, but this is thirty degrees. Sine thirty means opposite side by hypotenuse. Here, opposite side is BD. Hypotenuse is A. So this is a by two divided by a means a a get cancelled. It is equal to one by two. So what is sine thirty degrees, my dear students? One by two. Coming to cos thirty degrees, adjacent side by hypotenuse. Here the adjacent side is root three by two. See, my dear students, I will write here. This is adjacent side. That means a d is root three by two into a. Right, this is root three by two into a. So, my dear students, here cos thirty means adjacent side by hypotenuse. This is root three by two a divided by a. So, a a get cancelled. This is equal to root three by two. So, cos thirty degrees is root three by two. Okay. Now, coming to tan thirty degrees. What is tan thirty? Tan means Opposite side by adjacent side. Here opposite side is a by two. Adjacent side is root three by two. Root three by two a. So this is a by two divided by root three by two a. 
so here a a and 2 to get cancelled this is equal to 1 by radical 3 1 over radical 3 okay so sin 30 1 by 2 cos 30 root 3 by 2 tan 30 is 1 by radical 3 right now coming to cosecant theta cosecant theta means it is the reciprocal of sine or you can use you can write it from right angle triangle a b d is also but in simple way we use what cosecant means it is the reciprocal of sine 1 by 2 make it re make it reverse that is 2 secant means it is the reciprocal of cos that means it is root 3 by 2 just make it reverse that is 2 by root 3 now cot means it is the reciprocal of tan tan 30 is 1 by root 3 but cot 30 is root 3 root 3 by 1 is nothing but root 3 okay my dear students now we have already saw we have already proved sin 30 cos 30 tan 30 cosecant 30 secant 30 and cot 30 now coming to my dear students here this 60 degrees just i will write here this space is enough okay right now coming to triangle ah, sorry 60 degrees trigonometric ratio of 60 degrees 60 degrees this is 30 degrees is over now we are it is better to write here right my students right right so trigonometric ratio of 60 degrees trigonometric ratio of 60 degrees here here also we take the same triangle in triangle ABD not only triangle ABD you can take triangle ADC also in ADC also this angle is 30 90 and this is 60 okay you can take either ABD or ADC right now in triangle ABD see my dear students here this is small a and this is a by 2 and this altitude AD is root 3 by 2 a units now we have to write sin 60 sin 60 means what sin means opposite side by hypotenuse this is uh, uh, sorry here opposite side now it is changed 60 degrees now this is 60 degrees look here my dear students this is 60 opposite side hypotenuse opposite side is root 3 by 2 a divided by a so a, a get cancelled this is equal to root 3 by 2 next one is cos 60 cos 60 degrees means adjacent side by hypotenuse here coming to this one this is the adjacent side for angle 60 degrees and the hypotenuse is small a so that means a by 2 divided by a so it is equal to 1 by 2 next one is tan 60 degrees tan means opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side here what is the opposite side root 3 by 2 a divided by adjacent side is a by 2 okay my dear students now here root 3 by 2 sorry root 3 by 2 a divided by a by 2 so a a and 2 2 get cancelled finally root 3 that means tan 60 is equal to root 3 now we can write the reciprocals of sine cosine and tan they are what cosecant secant and then our next one is cot okay cosecant means it is the reciprocal of sine so this is 2 by root 3 and secant means it is the reciprocal of cos so 1 by 2 means 2 by 1 so cot means it is the reciprocal of what i forgot to write 60 degrees 60 secant 60 cosecant 60 right okay so the cot is the reciprocal of tan that means here it is root 3 its reciprocal is 1 by root 3 okay my dear students see so far we have learned about trigonometric ratio of 45 degrees trigonometric ratio of what 30 degrees and 60 degrees right now we will learn about trigonometric ratios of some specific angles the specific angles are 0 30 45 60 and 90 degrees see my dear students before we get into this table we, we learn this table 
let us recall the properties that means what we have been learning from beginning of this chapter see sine means opposite side by hypotenuse cos means adjacent side by hypotenuse tan means opposite side by adjacent cosecant means hypotenuse by opposite side secant means adjacent side by hypotenuse and cot means adjacent side by opposite and we learn some other properties also see sine means what it is the reciprocal of cosecant 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 means it is the reciprocal of sine see here uh, cos means it is the reciprocal of secant and secant means it is the reciprocal of cos tan means it is reciprocal of cot and cot means reciprocal of tan cosecant means it is the reciprocal of sine secant means it is the reciprocal of what cos and cot means cos by sine or it is the reciprocal of tan that means 1 by tan okay see 1 by tan similarly tan also this is sin by cos sin by cos okay see my dear students to learn this table first we have to by heart this sin values for easy and for easy understanding or easy learning see my dear students just let us learn this sin values zero what is sin zero what is sin 30 what is sin 45 what is sin 60 and what is sin 90 please by heart these values these are 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1. Right. See, let us repeat. 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. Please again repeat after me. 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. Again, please repeat. 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. These are the values of 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 of sin respectively. What? Sin 0, 0, sin 30, 1 by 2, sin 45 degrees, 1 by root 2, sin 60, root 3 by 2, sin 90 is 1. So, 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. If you know these values, then easily you can write remaining values of cos to cos, cos to cot. Okay, so my dear students, please again 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. These are the values of sin from 0 to 90 degrees. Okay, my dear students, coming to the cos, cos or cosine, see just write from last 1, after that root 3 by 2, after that 1 by root 2, next 1 by 2. And the last one is 0. What I did here, my dear students, to write cos values, just I start from last to first. That means 1, root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 0. So, what do you notice here, my dear students, that sin 45 degrees and cos 45 degrees both are equal. Every time that cosecant and secant are also equal. Similarly, the tan and cot 45 degrees are also equal. Okay, so we will learn about why these e e two angles are equal means we will we can learn more about this in the coming videos, right? Complementary angles of trigonometric ratios. Okay, in that topic we will learn, right? See my dear students, please listen. Sine means 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. Cos means just right from last, 1, root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 0. Okay, what about tan? Tan means, as I told you, it is sine by cos. Tan means, please write down here, it is sine by cos. This is important. Sine by cos, not 1 by cot here. In this scenario, just remember, tan means sine theta by cos theta. So, here, just divide 0 by 1, that is 0. See my dear students, 0 by anything is 0, but anything by 0 is undefined. So, here the 0 by 1 is 0. And next one is 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2. So, 2 to cancel. Here it is 1 by root 3. This is 1 by root 3. Why? Tan means sin 30 by cos 30. Tan 30 means sin 30 by cos 30. That is 1 by root 3. Coming to tan 45. 1 by root 2 should divide with 1 by root 2. So, these two are cancelled. It is one time. Okay, my dear students. And coming to what? Sin 60. What is sin 60? 
oh, sorry, coming to tan 60, it is sin 60 by cos 60. That means root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2, 2, 2 cancel, root 3 by 1 is root 3. So, my dear students, that tan 60 is root 3. Coming to tan 90 degrees, my dear students, it is sin 90 by cos 90. That means 1 divided by 0. In the beginning itself, I told you, anything by 0 is undefined. That means 1 by 0 is also undefined. I hope you understand these tan values, my dear students. Tan means it is sin by cos. So, to find tan 0, we should divide sin 0 by cos 0. 0 by 1 is 0. To find tan 30 degrees, we should divide sin 30 with cos 30. 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 is 1 by root 3. So, to find tan 45, we should divide sin 45 with cos 45. That means 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2 is 1. And to find sin, sorry, tan 60 degrees, we should divide this sin 60 with cos 60. That is 1 by 2, sorry, root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2. So, it is root 3. Now, coming to tan 90, we should divide the sin 90 with cos 90. That is 1 by 0 is undefined. Okay, my dear students. Now, we have already find what is what is tan. Now, it is very easy to write cosecant, secant and cot. Why? They are the reciprocals of what? Sin, cos and tan. So, my dear students, to write cosecant, just make it reverse. This pen is like this. Just make it reverse. All the sign values just make it reverse. Okay. Now that means reciprocals. Here sign 0 is 0, 1 by 0 is undefined. Here sign 30 is 1 by 2, cosecant 30 is 2 by 1, that is 2. Cosecant 45 means make it reverse of sign 45. 1 by root 2, that is root 2 by 1, that is root 2. Here uh, right here sin 60 is root 3 by 2. Cosecant 60 means make it reverse that root 3 by 2. That is 2 by root 3. Now here 1 make it reverse. Again you will get 1 only. Okay my dear students. Now here secant means just make it reverse cos. What is cos values? 1 root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 0. Just make it reverse. 1 by 1 is 1. This is 2 by root 3 and this is root 2 by 1. And this is 2 by 1, root 2 by 1 is root 2 only, my dear students. And 2 by 1 is 2. Here 0 is there, 1 by 0 is undefined. Okay, now coming to cot means it is the reciprocal of tan or cos by sin. Both cases you will get same only, right. So, my dear students, just make it reverse of tan. That means 1 by 0 is infinity. 1 by root 3 means root 3. 1 by 1 is 1. 1 by root 3 and this is 1 by infinity is 0. So, my dear students, this is the table of trigonometric ratios of some specific angles. My dear students, this table is very easy, but you must learn this first row that is sine values, sine 0, sine 30, sine 45, sine 60 and sine 90. So, they are 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1. Then cos means it is very simple. Just write from last to first 1, root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2 and 0. Tan means as I told you, tan is equal to sine by cos. That means just divide the 0 with 1, 0, 1 by 2 with two, root 3 by 2, 2, 2 get cancelled that is 1 by root 3. 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, that is 1 and 60 means, tan 60 means root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2, 2 to cancel, that is only root 3 by 1 is root 3 and 1 by 0 is infinity, undefined. To write cosecant, it is, it is also very simple my dear students, why cosecant means it is the reciprocal of sine. So, sine means 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. Just make it reverse. 1 by 0, undefined. 2 by 1, 2. Root 2 by 1, root 2. 2 by root 3, 2 by root 3, 1, 1. Right. Secant means it is a reciprocal of cos. That means just 1 by 1 is 1. 2 by root 3, root 2 by 1, 2 by 1, 2. 1 by 0 is undefined. Coming to cot, my dear students. 
here just make it reverse of this tan 1 by 0 infinity root 3 by 1 root 3 1 by 1 1 root here, here it is root 3 just write 1 by root 3 1 by infinity 0 okay I hope you understand well about this trigonometric table see my dear students here what do you observe this sin 45 and cos 45 are equal and tan 45 and cot 45 are equal to 1. Similarly, cosecant 45 and secant 45 are also equal to root 2. They are root 2. They are equal to root 2. Okay. See, this is the table. Please practice this table once and write without seeing also my dear students. Then it will be perfect for you. Thank you very much.